YouTube, this is Fortress Striker, and today I'll be now granting a deck profile that I have not made in about over 10 months, and you guessed it, it says it on the name of the video, it's Genixis. Let's check it out. I brought the deck back, I made it look more awesome and simple, because as you can see, it's good. this deck looks seems fun, right? Well, let's get straight to the deck profile. Alright, for stars, of course, we play two Undyned. Undyned's effect basically when it's, sends, when it's normal summon, you get to send a water monster from your deck to the grave to add this guy, Jank's controller, from your deck to your hand. And basically, his effect can use it on his own. So that way, I can like actually pitch and use like the, the famous um, Final Gesture card and get this playoff so well. Alright. Next I play is the one ally remote. Remote effect is a once per turn. You get to choose one tuner monster on the field, changes its name into Genix controller to the end phase. Now with this basically while I have this in somewhere in the graveyard, I basically gonna have this in Genix controller, and like I said, final gesture, straight up rank three play and do whatever. Play the one Berman, sadly on one of as always. Hope for the day that he comes back to two or better three. And that way I play two of these and then use Final Dresser on this guy. But for now it'll just be the... I just switched it out for some reason. <laughs> Next we're a good card in this deck. I play one Mathematician. This card helps very well. It will basically send any of my cards from the deck to the graveyard. And he's level 3 so I can go for a uh, rank 3 spam or shit. Or an extra draw. Next I play two Marine Captains, this helps me get off my XC or, or maybe a little bit of a synchro play. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty decent, I like it. So, also he says I play two, I can also play Final Gesture with him. Next I play two Goldenbergs, Goldenbergs helped me get my plays off, as, um, so I can like do like level 7 synchros and all this shit. And maybe some rank 4s. I play one Thunder King. Thunder King helps uh, prevent my opponent to ever search. Uh, there's a little bit of a couple searches there, but it's not a big deal. So Thunder King helps me there, and he's a 1900 beat six, so not a big problem. I play the one Armageddon Knight, as well as Mathematician being at one. This card helps me to get my uh, controllers to the graveyard, um, but it also helps me get some other dark monsters like uh, about the two Shadow Dragons. But this card is going to help me a lot now. Since I can discard, I can tribute. I mean, not tribute. Uh, send it to the graveyard with the effect of either Mathematician or Armageddon Knight. This will help me a lot to get rid of my opponent's back row. And plus, he's a 1900 beat six, so I like it. And then for the regular monsters, I play one Caius, uh, one Ryza, and uh, one Mobius. With these three, they help me so much to. Stop my opponent from doing anything and troll them out. I gotta respect the monarchs for sure for now until <laughs> they're set. And finally, I play one Dark Arm Dragon. Only about nine darks in this deck, but in the end, it's not a big issue. You'll have enough just to banish and knock some stuff out. Now, that's for the monsters. The spells I play one reinforcement in the army. This helps me get my Golem Birds or Morrowind Captains out. And yeah. Next, I play one Allure. Standard, dark deck, one dark hole. Don't have Regehi, but I guess dark hole would be a good substitute since get, get some cards away. But Regehi would be better. Uh, one foolish burial, of course. You have to keep milling and sending two cards from your deck to the grave to get your plays off. I play now the two mass change twos. Like I said, this card helps with us with the dragons and the jacks controls and anything. That way I can get my dark laws out. And instantly screw my opponent up. I played the one day of peace. Uh, there was like nothing else to add in here since I had to fix over and over. So I just started adding this card to my uh, deck. So that way I can like stall for another turn and get a draw. Or and finally, the main one of the deck, Final Gesture. For those who don't always remember this, I'll be glad to explain. What it does is basically get to target one level 3 monster on my field. Uh, I get to choose one monster from my hand or graver with the same name, special summon it. Its effects are negated. Uh, in the end phase, 
that, that card's still in the field, it is automatically destroyed. But you basically, when you, it's not going to last long, so you, you, you can straight, go straight up for a rank 3 XE play. And I would suggest playing this in Burning Abyss because it's pretty decent. Just saying. Don't like that, but hey, it's a good card. Runs for the spells, for the traps. I play just one call of haunted. Uh, I just scatter whatever I can to get it to play in the deck, so this was pretty much helpful, I guess, to get my cards out of the graveyard and do some plays. I play one solemn morning. I play one bombless. One pulse. One deep prison. I play the one karma cut. I was going to play two of these and two phoenix wing of the best, but I realized in my head I have too many discard effects and I think two would be too much, so one is fine, and that's why I switched to one compulse in the deck and one deep prison in the deck for a reason. And as I said before, one Phoenix win win blast. This is pretty good. It's basically also a Ryza effect, but I like but you know, I guess my as I said before my play is off and then basically cornerstone my opponent. Uh, I play of course still the magic cylinders. Um, you can play mirror force and anything, but this would be better. They don't really expect this and they take damage. And it's like uh side face thing. Two breakthrough skills. Um, I was thinking of using Valus, but Valus weren't going to be much. And breakthrough skills, okay. So it's not the end of the world of it. If I can discard it, it's not the end of the world of it. And it will be a dead draw. Or a dead card in your hand. So, yeah. And then finally, I just tech this in the Maleficent Catastrophe. My opponent plays a heavy back roll. I just. They attack. I just activate this, like you know, Burning Abyss, or Teller, whatever you have. Activate, boom, get wrecked. And that makes some sense. I run for the main deck, for the extra deck, I play two Dark Laws. With, with the Dark Laws in this deck, I can actually go ahead and really tick my opponent off. And as well as I have Thunder King with this card, my opponent won't search. My native, and even gets rid of my Thunder King, uh, when they search, they have to. I choose a random card and I get to banish it. So, that's my opponent. Uh, for the only level 6, I only play one Triarm. I can only single out with that water, so I get to pop my back row. So you, I don't play MSTs if you notice, but keep having my back. My opponent's back row is pretty decent, especially their pendulum, so they can just like, I don't know, what are you going to do? Uh, I play one entry fairy dragon, just get rid of those chicken games immediately, and do whatever. Like, just take a thousand, then you pop it, and then you gain a thousand. In the end, it's like, aha, what are you going to do? Uh, one black rose. Uh, I guess I just want to blow shit up. The main guy, of course, is the Triforce. But this guy helping with my Goblinberg and my and my level three tuners, Genixes. My opponent can't play spell traps, and I go straight through unless they have Compulse and finish up before the battle phase. And I'm screwed. But other than that, I'm good. And finally, I play one Leo. The reason I play Leo is because if I get a level seven Mustang Grow, they're like their faction negate or they can't do anything. And I have level three tuner, just summon it and then stick with this up. Then my opponent can't target this shit. They cry. And that's it for the synchros for the rank 3 X seeds. I play one Zen mains, of course, one Mech Equip Engineer, one Alucard, and one Nightmare Shark. Zen mains for stall, Mech Equip for stall, Alucard for pawing back row, uh, Nightmare Shark for direct attack. Simple. And for rank 4s, I just choose these sort of cards. Uh, different for the last match, but my purpose. Watch, of course, because for the fact that a lot of High level monsters are always summon a lot, so I just want to get their summons and get rid of it. Castell, because it's Castell. Utopia defense is, is very important in this deck, so you want to do your best and try to proc your opponent. And then Exe Dragon, just to wreck shit up. Alright, and that's it the the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy this. This was the new Genix deck profile. Uh, it's pretty decent, a lot of new cards you there expect to see. Um, I am impressed with for, for Genexes, they're the best deck in the world, way better than the meta. Konami will never touch this, except they hit Burman, so I'm pissed about that. But sooner or later, Burman will make a comeback. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like, comment what you think about the deck, share this to your friends, because I know you love Genexes as much as I do. Subscribe if you're new, like my Facebook page, and this is Fortress Trigger, signing off.